Good morning. Welcome to Breakfast with Charlie State and Naga Manchetti. Our headlines today. More than 1,000 passport office workers are going on strike for five weeks in a dispute over pay and conditions. Good morning. It's Friday the 17th of March. Now, killers with a history of coercive or controlling behaviour against their victims will face tougher sentences under new government plans. Pledge comes as an independent review finds that the current sentencing rules don't reflect the fact that many murders follow years of domestic abuse. Graham Satchel has this report. And we'll talk more about this. At half past seven, we'll be talking to the Justice Secretary, Dominic Raab. Doctors, leaders and government ministers are being urged to start formal pay talks after a breakthrough on a deal with other NHS staff in England. Unions representing health workers, including nurses, ambulance staff and paramedics, are recommending their members back a 5% pay rise following months of industrial action. With more details, here's our health editor, Hugh Penn. The Ukrainian foreign minister has warned that countries which mistreat Ukraine will be held to account after the war ends. Dmitry Kuleba was referring not only to Russia, which invaded 13 months ago, but also to countries which have tried to prevent military aid from reaching Ukraine. He's been talking to our diplomatic correspondent, James Landale. Time now is 11 minutes past six. Good morning to you. OK, we need to find out what's happening with the weather. Sarah Kukli. Now, scientists in Aberdeen say they've solved the mystery of why people in the Orkney Islands and their descendants may be more susceptible to breast and ovarian cancer. It's all about a gene variant which is already known to increase the risk of those cancers being more common in people of Orcadian heritage. Rob Goodwin has the details. Time is quarter past six Friday morning. Let's take a look at the papers. Put your eye on the um, My attention drawn to uh, Mike is at uh, Cheltenham today. We'll mm. speak to him a little bit later for the racing. And this is a story about um, jockeys who traditionally we think of as being short. But um, just How looking... much does he weigh then? Well, he says he weighs 10 stone 4 pounds at, at, six, at foot six foot four. four. Uh, because clearly weight is the big yes. issue in relation to the horse riding. But he states a couple of things which is the kind of thing that if I said, people say I was being really stupid. He said, if if you're um, short, you're sometimes perched on top of uh, the back of the horse and they can get the better of you. Whereas if you're a big lad, you can manhandle the horse. And he says it's literally because he can get his legs further around the horse. So the, the much smaller jockeys sit atop the horse and he's saying... He can get his legs necessarily because they're longer further around the horse. Which is a statement of the glaringly obvious. This is what the man says. Jack Andrews, who's six foot four. I'm not sure that it would be completely comfortable wrapping your legs around the girth of a horse whilst, well, whilst you know, it's galloping at who knows what miles an hour. Well, to be honest, I'm taking. Because the... you are supposed to be, when you gallop, you are supposed to be on top of the horse because you can't exactly sit and and bump on the horse because well, I think what I'll do probably is take the the uh, the testimony of Jack Andrews jockey over your the, the, your expertise in the area that's all I'm saying I, I think probably he knows what he's talking about given he's riding horses at Cheltenham think? Think? yes yes mm. um he, he does say uh, if anything he's got a bit of an advantage this is his words if you're in any doubt if anything <laughs> I have a bit of an advantage in that I can wrap my legs You've around horses already. better You've than some people already. can. That can help with balance and control. I'm just making sure we understand that that is what Jack Andrews says. Look, feel free to get in touch, but I think if you're doing dressage, and I understand that because it's all about control and communication with the horse, but when the horse is galloping, you've got to be atop the horse anyway. You're not so going to wrap your legs around. Let me go back to the comments of Jack Andrews, Anyway, I take, I take, I take, your, um, I take your, your jockey story... And good luck to everyone who's racing, obviously, at Cheltenham. And, and of course, um, hope you all stay safe and well. I take your horse and I raise you with a calf, OK? Just... Which is normally where the face is. So, this is a calf that was born in West... It's now being... Because of the markings, it's now being spared the abattoir. Owners of the Holstein calf, it's called Happy because of the smiley face on the side of its body. Um, so it can look forward to a, future being kept, to a future being kept as a pet instead, with the smiley face on the side of its body. Lovely. How nice. Uh, 6.20 is time. Royal Mail, that's what we're going to be talking about now. It's been referred to the industry regulator, Ofcom, um, because it's breached its requirement to deliver, let deliver letters across the country for six days a week. Uh, Hannah's got more on it. 
Still coming up on today's programme, looking ahead to the next episodes of Sir David Attenborough's Wild... ...is stunning, can you? Beautiful. Yeah, just, it's just, it, you're in for a treat, and that's that at 10 to 8. But first, it's 23 minutes past 6. Find out what's happening, news, travel and weather, wherever you are. <laughs>